Oh, shut the, oh, shut, shut the door. No, hello, visuals. Uh, well, I'm going to the meeting. I'm on Gowns with. What's the matter with you? Hi. Oh, it's Bye. a few awkward. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just a weird shit today. I was literally going to bring up how weird shit is, but might as well bring the fact that you just pointed out there's a game coming out. There's Chris a is here. simulation game coming out. It looks actually pretty good. Yeah, I was about to say how, how weird just life is just a weird thing in general. But I'm I, that going on the like the basis of that. <laughs> I got pure excited. That's a weird life is. I got pure excited to play a game where you're well, straight. Yeah, when, I, when I seen the goal simulating game, I thought that was shit. Yeah, but this this has been like it's not so much. Yeah, I don't know if you can call it a simulator because it's all about like, it because it's like um, like I said, you get these it's, the people are robots and you have to escape like this weird ass city and that, don't you? Well, you're only just in a little bit. Of the, you get these mad things on your back to like get with these little weird jumping creature things. So I mean, I don't know if you could technically call it a simulator because simulator is based on real life. You know what I mean? Like truck simulator, farm simulator. It's doing kind a real job. Of? Kind of. I yeah. See where you're coming from. Yeah, like if you play truck simulators, you picking up a load and dropping it off. Yeah. Whereas this is you are being a stray car, but with robots and weird little aliens. It's the creatures. same as goat simulator because that does say goat simulator, but there's yeah. weird shit you can do. You oh, can you're not just a goat fly. grazing like in the field. Farm simulator and stuff like that. Mm, you can fly with a goat. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like, that's like extremely fucking weird. Weird life is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, bees alerted. I'm not going to spoil it because that's weird itself. I told you about it because I, I don't want to do an announcement just over the body pod because it's not just my announcement. Um, like I said, we basically did human trafficking today, which is weird as fuck. I'm just the driver. Well, it's just guilty by association. <laughs> you know what I mean? The I getaway get driver is just as bad as the bank robbers. I know. We I know. did human trafficking. Right. We got we got a live living thing and money was exchanged it wasn't sort of like just a drop and go, it was sort of like we shouldn't have had a crime. Yeah, we had a conversation before committing a crime. We did. If I chat to Doris before I stabbed her in the head, I still stabbed her in the head. We stole a baby, people. We stole a baby. Because Chris isn't a weird shit. Hmm. You are. <laughs> no, no, don't. It, it, it was a legal human traffic because there was no humans involved. I just the FBI <laughs> listened to this. But it's Make weird. It it's weird how we've like manipulated other species and we're like dividing conquer yeah. like you have if, kids yeah if you human if you do it to a human it's against the law but it's all right to do it with I other know. yeah creatures we can take cows segregate them say you're the mum i'm gonna kill your son make a lovely dinner. yeah or we can take away a, a, litter, a litter of kittens and say you're the mummy guess what i'm making money off yeah. dog sex i don't mean to bring this up but if you put a dog down are you mm. doing it because it's human but if it's human with suffering you're not allowed to put him down or her unless you're in unless you're in Switzerland. Of a murder. it doesn't make sense but what? in switzerland you have to physically like kill yourself yeah that's why the swiss are the best because they're like listen but don't they give you like a year's worth of therapy before you actually can i can't it. remember you can have someone help you and um, technically they won't get done for murder or like assisted whatever but that now weird. Well, That's what we're talking about weird shit, mate. Right? It, it's it's weird now. You can have a real life death experience simulation. You can Fuck actually pay noise. to have this experience, which I don't understand how they know what death's like because nobody knows what death's like. Unless you physically died yourself and came back. You know, you hear. I people, saw the light. I went to Jesus and he called me. You know, me. you hear of people that like. But the closest I've, I've done this, but I I died. For I, I think the closest near death experience we get is sleep. Mm, that's very weird. That one, isn't it? I don't I know. I think you, that you, would be the closest near death experience. That's my like, fault, anyhow. You just close your eyes and you that's do. it. You just close your eyes and that's it. I think that's the closest we'll ever get to near death experience is sleep. I think just being alive, breathing, because we can nearly kill ourselves. I will watch. If I kept that going, I'm dead. Anything. Why well, as well though? It's really weird. Like, what the fuck are you eating? The thing that we need to keep us alive is slowly killing us as well. Well, oxygen. Mm -hmm. Why is oxygen killing us? It's keeping us alive, isn't it? So then we live for longer, then we also are slowly dying in the process because the more you eat. But it's not slowly killing us. Yeah. Yeah. It's. There's something in the weird side No, the way she explained that there, it's not killing us. <gasps> no, elab elaborate. Really long. <laughs> Obviously, oxygen is there for us to breathe. Yes, what yes. Are you doing? But also, as oxygen is there, it's 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 slowly decaying our body. <laughs> no, that's not oxygen. That's time. No. It's a bit of both. 
No, oxygen does nothing. It's, no, it's because, like eating. No, 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 no. Because if we imp- if we like freeze in ice or anything like that, there's no yeah. oxygen getting in, so yeah. nothing is like decomposing our body. That's but soon, there again, that doesn't even work anyway. As soon as we breathe, should I say? Yeah. That's when our body starts fucking. <laughs> yeah, but the oxygen's not decomposing anything. It's just keeping no, it going. It's, it's helping the situation. That's dumbing it down. That's helping the situation. Bees, bees googling somebody here. I think it's the more scientific. Yeah, because I, well, but if it, but sorry if you guys are right with this. I sort of can't get my head around it because, like I said, it's keeping us alive. It's not doing anything to, to kill us, though. No. What are you talking about? The oxygen radicals harm the fats, protein, and DNA in the body. It damages your eyes so you can't see properly in your lungs. What, but what's oxygen so you can't radicals? Breathe normally. As opposed to oxygen? So, breathing. Oh, no, the atmosphere is made up of 79% nitrogen. What, what's it's not just oxygen that no yeah in. it's saying it in that terms what's in the air might be but the, the function of breathing itself isn't killing us it's just time no time. don't reveal shut the fuck up time, time's irrelevant though because we could die tomorrow we can die in 100 years it's still time. time though isn't it but like his time is linear never you like garlic oh yeah um um <laughs> just talking about weird old motherfucking shit I need to get some more background on that uh, we'll get back to weird I love talking weird shit with you yeah. I need to I need to find I need you you should have brought up the entertainment news the fuck because I watched like I said to you I watched the um, the trailer for Army of Thieves and how's what's the connection right, again yeah. right okay Army of Thieves it's a prequel yeah the revolving around vault, the vault locker the vault guy yeah He's in the prequel, yeah. Army of Thieves. Yeah. That's the only connection. That's it. So yeah. it's basically what he was doing before he went into Vegas with Dave Bautista. Yes. Which is kind of mad there because they're doing a, a, a trilogy, but not all based. One's a zombie. One, I assume, is just like a thrillery action. Yeah. So if they are doing a trilogy, the third one, what's that going to be about? Sci-fi? I have no idea. What they should have I mean, done... it's quite cool. It's quite unique. What they should have done is kind of done... Maybe not the same way as The Fear Street, but have, like, three movies set... Like, Army... Um, like, day Army one of the things. zombie outbreak. Day 100 of the zombie outbreak, and then, like, day 1,000 of the zombie outbreak. What just fell on my back? Nothing. Honestly, something fell on my back. Probably it's fire. Is it gone? It's not there. I, I felt <laughs> dent... Whatever that or a ghost. Um, Army of Thieves. Army mm-hmm. of I think it's called Army of Thieves. That should have been film one. Mm-hmm. Leading into film two of Army of the Dead. Mm-hmm. So many... Whatever timeline. Yeah. Or maybe leaving that for leaving that for film three. And finding something in the middle. Because we've seen Dave Bautista go into the zombie place before, haven't we? But it showed you at the start of it him coming out once already. I would rather have watched that. Yeah, it would have been nice to see... The, I'd the rather have Dave Batista. That was going on as well. Yeah, that, that would have been much better when he was first with like, his little gang and stuff. Yeah. Put him away fucking It's quite nice, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Sainsbury's. Yeah, and, and they, that, that film's already got a trailer, and the young ones only just come out, so they must have fucking shot that back to back. Oh, good old Zach is. I don't know Zach is Zach's ID. There's a separate conversation going on, as opposed to ours. Um. It looks interesting. I've seen the trailer. It does look interesting. Um, the only person, only person I know in it is Ramsey from Fast and Furious. Yes, I saw her. I've seen the trailer. Um, this is just fucking nuts. There's other people, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah I just thought because obviously it's quite a unique. Because like, look, look, sorry, look at it. She's in charge. How is she? Look at the way the way it was all sorted and all. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah she's in charge. Um, yeah, it's just kind of weird to have a trilogy. But I assume they're going to go for a trilogy. If you do two, nine times out of ten, they bring out a trilogy. It's kind of weird to have. A trilogy based in the same world, but have nothing to do with Unless each other. Unless we are getting a third film, it's going to be Dave Bautista's daughter and some fucking king guy. Maybe never died, or there's a, another yeah. hierarchy out there. It's like, you murdered my brother or fucking whoever. Yeah. No, 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 it's just weird. What a weird way to take a trilogy. But also cool and unique. Uh-huh. I, will, I, will, I will take that. Yeah. Um... 
Still. Yes. We're just trying to blast off. Uh, yeah, as I didn't mention this podcast probably won't be as long as usual because we've had a very, very hectic day. There will be stuff coming out about it somewhere on either social media or whatever. Yeah, some more stuff will come out near the time. Yeah, I, I just didn't want it to be a, a me reveal on, on a podcast because, it's a, it, it, to be fair, it's a huge talking point about what happened today because still in the pit of my stomach, I'm not 100% comfortable with it because of certain recent events. I still miss a certain somebody. What are you going on? Mark, you know, if any. Mm. Yeah, so what happened today is awesome, oh, it's amazing, right, right, but right, right, I still right. feel yeah. very, not very, I still feel a little bit... Mm, Betrayed. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. A little bit. All right, we'll, 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 we'll get there. We'll get yeah, but like I said, that's, that's for, for letting down. But, I mean, it's still awesome, fucking was it? But yeah. at the same time, I'm just like, oh, well, Manelli. Why not? Um, I mean, to be fair, we've not really done a good job of keeping it a secret. It's quite obvious what we're talking about. When we were talking about human trafficking at the start, but not with you not, not legit FBI shush do you know what is weird I don't know who the YouTuber is there was a lad who went to the Bermuda Triangle the other day and he did a video of him just floating with his mates Bermuda Triangle like the um, Americans and I'm not swap but like Coast Guard and a helicopter that come thinking there were people trying to sneak into the country but imagine just sat there floating on top of the Bermuda Triangle whether you believe it or not um, just sat there floating chilling that would be fucking terrifying. I'd be thinking of all kinds of the fucking Bermuda creatures. The Bermuda Triangle is a weird place, like, isn't it? It is a weird place, but obviously there's n- you can't turn around and say 100% there's some weird supernaturally there's shenanigans. There's something weird there, because it's, it's like, say... Yeah, but it might, be, it might be scientific weird as opposed to supernatural it, weird. It, I mean, it, it might be human nature, just in the wrong time. Yeah, yeah. It might just be a certain part of the world or where... It's, yeah, it might be a certain part where a lot of tidal waves and storms actually yeah. all collide. Yeah, it could, that's for me. So it could just be scientific weirdness. But there was a ship over in the paper. Not the paper, but obviously on Facebook, which was in the paper. Yeah. Um, last week, a Russian ship that's been disappeared for... I think it was 60 years. How it might, just yeah. vanished. It just reappeared. They did. Uh, there was one about a plane no, with no crew or anything else. They just they just seen it floating in the ocean. You didn't you talk about this about a plane as well? That not long ago. Oh no 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 no! It wasn't you. It was a lad at work showed me uh, a plane went missing a certain amount of time ago, and then he come back. There is more to the story because they, they talked to the cockpit. and They're like, "What year is it?" He says, "This year." And he carries on flying away, and that like, well, that that's a plane's been missing for years. So there are there are weird shit like that. There, like, is, I, there is one explainable. Person, Common. person. That, that's that's why people jump to the supernatural, though, isn't it? Because we, me and you, because we don't know every single detail of all, yeah. we can't explain it. No. That's why people jump. But, but it is for. I'll talk about supernatural shit all day because it. I can keep saying I it. It's it. fun. No, it's, it's fun. I yeah, love it, it's fun. But I truly believe if we stripped everything down, there will be a scientific and logical what? explanation for everything. That's just what I believe. Quite possibly. Yeah. But I just love the. F- I just love the fact of not knowing the truth. And that's that's, that's the human. That's why yeah. I say to you in films. You know when you get to the big payoff, like like um, we went to watch um, the devil made me do it, and they reveal yeah. the shit at the end. You know what the you know what it looks like. Yeah. And I'm like, you should. I'm gonna do something because I'll creep myself out. So you should just leave it because what I imagine in my head is a lot scarier than what you're gonna bring up on screen. True. I'd rather keep. But sometimes that. it's nice to get the truth. Sometimes. No, it's nice to get the truth, but if you do like a scary thing, as soon as you put a face to it or an answer to it. You now know there's no oh, more. Yeah, there's definitely. no you with the whole your mind playing tricks on you. Like yeah, when we, I don't know if you heard last night. I, I had one of my fingers full last night mm. when we went to bed. You slept downstairs or in the same bed maybe. No, you slept downstairs. Never heard it. I was upstairs. But anyway, in my head, like my mind's now going, oh, what was that? That's a bit weird. This is foul. That's oh, it's making this noise. But as soon as you go, oh, it's just because the blue tack melted a bit and, and dropped. It it completely takes all the yeah, tension out. Yeah, it's the same with any fucking. Years of rumored stories of this, yeah. this, 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 this. So, so, and then you get the, you get to the tip of the call. You're so excited. It's like, is yeah, it? nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> That's why sometimes these unexplained <laughs> mysteries of UFOs or aliens or monsters or the Godzilla's under the sea. Maybe you should always just leave the little details and let's never have an answer. Because when we get the answer, it might be like, that's shit. It's like we said in the past, our brains are too curious. We're curious, oh, we, George. Yeah, we are. That they also are curious. We are the curious, Curious George. nature will, will be our downfall. We're always, will be. We're, we're always nitpicking. We're always deep. Ultron will come. He Look how far he took the Avengers. Sokovia was up in the air and he fucking nearly fucked it up. But if it wasn't for the likes of Iron Man and that sort of our shit out. 
<laughs> you know, I, I think we should always keep it that way. Just keep it under a certain little... things. You should. Yeah, no, some things you you will like. It would be lovely if we could find the cure to cancer. It would be lovely if we could find yeah. peace. But well, well, I'm, I'm putting it out there. Are you about to argue world peace? No, no I was not argue, not argue it. But I was like, what I've had, I deal with like world peace. Yeah, yeah. But what I've again conspiracy theories. Apparently, there is a cure for cancer out there. Yeah, but, but it's, it's going to cost the pharmaceuticals too much money. Yeah. If it all comes out in... Because you can just go... Thingy. Yeah, because they spend so much money on treatments yes. and what, this kind of shit. So yeah. It's, it's things like that. It's like... Uh, yes, yes, and uh, I don't know. Obviously this is this is another, like I've just said, this is a perfect example of me and you not having every piece of the puzzle. Yes. We're looking at a slight corner. But I, it's I, also I, an example of... Again, me and you gone, going through it, but I don't think you have. Not like a, a scare with somebody, but... Yeah, yeah. and like I say, I've lost two people a bit. I was about to say to you, given the fact that how much you, the, the human race has evolved, and we literally now we care, we care about every little thing. We're all trying to donate to this, don't we? You'd like to think that everybody has a conscious I now... I do, to a certain point, not but to, I'd rather choose animals over people. No, I would, no, 100%. I'm just trying to give a point that there are charities now, so people that are, have a, a bigger conscious now, a consciousness, to say, oh, we can't let them suffer because we feel bad. We can't let them so I'd like to think that the higher-ups will say, I, I hate seeing see that person suffer. We, we have the cure. There's the cure. I don't like the fact that oh, I know they're suffering, but we're making a bit of doubt. Because there are greedy people in the world. That's, that's the thing, though. They but, are. When it comes to money, they are. But there's a lot of good people. Then so, give them the cure. There is a lot of good people. So I'm just in my head assuming that if there is a cure, uh, sorry, that there isn't a cure, and it's just a case of people have theorised and made up conspiracy theories exactly. about this. For all we know, there, can, there might not be a cure. Yeah, so I'm believing that there isn't. But yeah. again, going off conspiracy theories of what I've heard and read, there is one out there, but if I put it out yes, there, I've heard this. and then that's a lot of... Little this is going to sound really, really, really fucking bad. I don't want to use cancer as an example, but at the same time, we, we kind of do need a disease that makes sure... But we're on the ball with it. Yeah. Or it takes yeah. something to Somebody, treat off. Uh, my a bump on the head my or, or pub, whatever. Lad banged his knee got it. Obviously, I don't want people suffering from cancer because it's a disgusting way to go. But we do kind of need something that will make sure that the people that need to kick on... This is me included. When I get to the time, kick on, if you know what I mean. I don't want untimely deaths. I don't want... But you would need something to make sure that... Because if we are, we've had to come from overpopulations of fucking... We're far too overpopulated. That's what we need. We, we need something. I said this at the turn 60. I wanted to go, that's it. I've done See, I'd like to live as long as I possibly could, but like I said, when there's something out there that's like, oh, you've lived here. But that's the thing, we're living longer and longer because yeah. fucking shit in the air. Well, I don't know what it is, but we're living longer. Well, you go to them weird places, don't you, in like Latin America and that, where they've got these facilities to help you live to like 120. There's a guy on Logan Paul's podcast a few it's, weeks back. It, it's, a, it's a strange, sorry, I just said that. It's a strange one because 40, 50 years ago, Cancer was a rare thing. That's what I'm trying to say. The but they're still dying young. Yeah, they're, they're, there's something in the world, or there's something, a natural balance that will always make sure that the world has its kicking point mm. for for people. Mm. And, and to be fair, maybe it is best that it's complete. It's horrible to say because I don't want anybody's dad or son or brother or mother to die. But maybe it is better just being completely random because it's the fairest way to be. Like if I walked out of the house now and get run over by a bus, but yeah, there's a 99 year old woman. Yeah, you know, who lives for over two more years, you could argue it's a bit unfair that she lived, but it's like, well, no, if it's just a literally game of chance, hmm. then you can't get any more fair to roll of the dice, so you can't, can't well, get any the, more yeah, fair than that. I've always said it's, 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 it's not, well, it is unfair. I've always said it's kind of unfair on those who have families, who've been yeah, royal it's, to it's, everything, it's, yeah. and like, it's, I'll, I'll, fair enough, I'll bring it up. My mum, she was yeah. a mum, she wouldn't hurt a butterfly, she was fucking loving it, everyone loved her. Yeah. She died of cancer. It's, yeah, Where it's... you get dickheads, paedophiles, fucking... The lot forever. And they just fucking sit in prison and you just fucking, yes, Mate. I did this when I was younger and I'm not fucking bothered whatsoever. Another perfect example, Mark Hoppus, the leader of Blue Ridge 2, has stage 4 cancer. That's it, he's dead. Mm. He's, he's not dead yet, but he is, he is yeah. going to die. And you think, I'm not sick. Through your music, Blink-182 at one stage were arguably one of the biggest bands on the planet. They defined the late 90s, early 2000s. They made, I mean, people think about it. They made, made there was in all in school, Blink-182, Blink-182 gigs, American Pie, all this shit. They made it and you're like, 
Why does he deserve to get it when we've well, brought so much joy? Yeah. When there's a dickhead like me smoking away who's done nothing for nobody, not for the lack of trying, but you know what I mean? I'm yeah. just doing my average job, trying to be nice to individual people, but on a, on a scale, I might have helped one person where he's helped millions. Yeah, he's... Mm. But at the same time, that's why I go back to my previous point, if, if it's just a roll of the dice and sorry, his number's up, can we argue that? Okay, then, if you got it... Mm. What would you do? Would you have would you have chemo or would you leave it? Well, I, with cancer, obviously, again, I'm not a scientific expert here. Is is chemo and that just not denying it ever? Because a lot of people that get rid of it, it just comes back. And then not you, everyone. Some people. Some have, people be, um, yeah, be it. but a lot of then it comes back and it comes back stronger. So if you go for chemo, obviously nobody wants to die. We have that fight or flight instinct inside of us, don't we? Where yeah. we want to survive. So in my head now, I'm saying, no, they, you know. But maybe I would look at my circumstances and say, right, they're wasting this time, resources on me, when literally I'm a 27-year-old bloke with a body age of a fucking 50-year-old, bum knee, bad back, cold sacks like nobody's business. Do I deserve it over little Dorothy over there, five-year-old, who could do mm. better? I've said no to it. I'd like to think I'd say no, but again, you fight and fight or fight and six of like, well... With watching my mum go through it? Yeah. No. That's my answer. Again, it, it, yeah, it does look fucking... Uh, oh, no, tell her, like, I have... No, my, one of my dad's previous... His ex-wife, who was fucking an absolute godsend. No, I, was, I, I said to you at the start, I had a scare with it, but no, I have... She passed from it and she had to, you know, blow her hair. Oh. I uh, was watching Mum go yeah. through it. Um, oh, you look so scared. Yeah. I thought it was... <laughs> watching Mum go through it, anything else, it was like, nah, I wouldn't do it. Oh, yeah, just fucking horrible. It just sent her downhill. She had she couldn't do anything. She couldn't move. She just fucking looked like a zombie. No. And I'm, I'd rather try and live as best as I can. For as long as I can. Yeah. Before I, I, I get knocked off with things. Yeah, but going back to natural, the Thanos snap, even though we, mm. we changed our minds on the Thanos snap. Yeah. <laughs> After all these... But I'm also, I'm also on the donor list. On the donor list? Yeah. Shit to death of opening shit and smoking I'm on the donor list, so if I do, Garner... Nobody they're, wants they're, my they're, shit. They've got me fucking... They've got everything of mine. Yeah, nobody wants just my shit. Obviously, I'm an organ donor as well. If I die, they can have any part of yeah, me. Yeah, mine's diabetic or mine's... Yeah, they don't want this shit. <laughs> no, yeah, the, yeah, the final snap, we completely switched on. We thought, that's a good idea, bring it in a second. Long second. No, because you could have just snapped to have mm. plenty of resources. Yeah. <laughs> you could, we we spent years going. Yeah, we're kind of team Thanos to go. Oh shit, I'm gonna set. Yeah, it kind of debunked. Them. Yeah, we we didn't need to be. We didn't need to do all that. We just got some more fucking resources. I, I did. I brought this up with Dick. Oh no, I don't know if you want to ear off this or not. I, did I, no, did I bring it up with you about the 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 Loki and Wonder Vision episode? But if you put play them together at the same yes. time. Oh mate, oh sorry, you, you carry on. <laughs> Uh, no, I was thinking about that again the other day because a lot of people, a lot, loads of people mentioned that's fucking, I know it's a complete side tangent there. Fucking amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Is it anything to do with the blip and the snap, baby? No. no. Okay. It's just a I, Because I, I, obviously, at first, when you watch them individually, I, you don't notice it. I didn't, I didn't expect. What time are you going on? Uh, soon. My mum's just said then that um, Ray White's not coming back. It's been released. When did that get released? Um, I don't know, James messaged him on the Is this he one of the... He asked to be released, but if you Google it, it's true. Yeah, but is this... Because remember, Samoa Joe just got released. Where's he gone? NXT. Is this one of the ones where Bray Wyatt's been released and only the Fiends stay in it? The WWE have done weird shit like this before. No, apparently he asked to be released. I would wait a couple of days until more... Because like I said, they've, they've had... The, Finn Balor got released from back up on NXT. Oh, is it in your back? Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, go for it. You won't be late anyway, will you? Here's some socks on first. Because I want to watch Out Banks. It depends on how much I have to drink, because tomorrow I'm going to back there. What a little shit, he said. <laughs> Shut the door behind you, please, Leo. No. Jo- Joe Rogan doesn't have to deal with this shit. No. no anyway, well, like I said, she wanted a nice little rub. Oh, she's here. She called him the Joe Rogan before. Oh yeah, it's because I was going to say the Joe Rogan experience, but then I was like, damn knows what that is, so I just went to Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, I did say to her, he would be a, the, the Joe Rogan. That's how you introduce him, yeah. isn't it? It's because I found out that one of the girls that, that I work with, like, watches 
people that we, me and Dan watch, and like then another girl that's just started her boyfriend watches Joe Rogan Experience. Mm. I was like, who did you say, like a, a girl whose boyfriend what? A girl who's just started at work. Her boyfriend. Oh, she just said just died. <laughs> No, just Honestly, I was like, Jesus Christ, why are you going to die? You're depressed, dead in the brain. You're so depressing. <laughs> you're dead in the brain. <laughs> yeah, but no, I, yeah, honestly, I just think life's weird, and it was all to do with uh, what we did today. Again, no laws were broken. It was just. No, no, life in general is just weird. Like I said, 50, 60 years ago, people were. The, cancer was a rare thing, but people were dying young. Yeah. In the 50s and 60s. Now you've got people living to the fucking nineties, hundreds, and cancer. It's basically, it's it's a fucking ongoing thing. But it, take it away from depressing stuff as well. Think what we do as a society. We pay people to pretend to be other people on a camera, or we will pay to watch people because they're really fast or strong. We watch. We I pay to watch people pretend to fight, just doing mad stuff. Me and you, like like I'll pay to have. Something that's plastic and made cheaply just sat in my house. Yeah, it's just weird as fuck. We, yeah. When you strip life down to its basic fundamentals, it's just a case of eat, sleep, we've gone, and repeat. Yeah, we've, we've gone from a load of dum dums to yeah. the posh royal Victorians to kind of end up slowing back to the dum dums. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> mental. <laughs> Phone call. Phone call. Sorry. Hello. Chris is answering the phone. Tell them they'll be ready in a minute. Yeah, Chris has been out all day. His puppy dog has been left with his sister. Oh. She's already got a handful. So she's probably wanting up uh, the, the, the puppy dog returned back to the rightful owner. Men, and the, oh. Sorry. Just, just 20 oh, menthol. Yeah. Just text, text, text me that and I'll pop it to Tesco on the way back past. Sorry about saying it. Okay. Listen, right. I'm going to have a rant now. Okay, listen. I'm going to have a slight rant. Bye, bye, bye. What's your rant? Quick rant before we end, because I'll let you go here. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. It doesn't really. I'm just... This is just, just me messing here. <laughs> just how life's weird, and yeah, it is weird. Um, uh, his sister's been on the phone. She wants some mental smokes. Well, the tips. Well, yeah, the tips. Listen, right. If, if you want if you want men, have a fucking polo. James Beale, you little cocksucker motherfucker, he always did this. He always borrowed my fags, but he'd always buy a menthol, and I always think, you little cunt, right? If you want a fag, have a fag. If you want mint, have a polo. Why'd you get to combine the two? Like, B did the same. Oh, but you just pop it and chew it. I don't want yeah, the option. They don't, they don't taste nice, though, do they? Yeah, so some some, pe store. some people really they like them. And again, I'm not really having a rant. You smoke what you want they to fucking smoke. They didn't taste very nice. I... I would prefer not to, purely because I like my mints with my mints and my fags with my fags. But that, yes, but you, do eat, you don't eat things that's green. No, you're absolutely right. So you there like you my go. Favorite color. Exactly. Like John Cena's new shirt's green. His favourite colour, but yeah, anything green he will not eat. Even um, if it's a fucking star, um, a, a, a starburst. Or not a fucking... green starburst. <laughs> what? No, he really likes apple. Or Skittles or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, because they're candy. I'll eat that. No, yeah, let's, let's end it there then so you can get yourself away and get back on with your life because you've, uh, you've served me honourably as my little Alfred this weekend. Um, I've just basically called you my butler, but unfortunately... Yeah, but I don't get paid. You'd be the butler to uh, someone human that's trafficking. not Batman, to human, not really human trafficking. Yeah. Weird as fuck. Life's weird visuals, but I'm glad I I'm here to experience nice it. Gadgets. I don't get a nice car, even though I'm not saying nothing wrong with B's car. Alf, being Alfred would be horrible though, mate. The amount of times that the way man has been broken into and busted up and having to heal up Bruce Wayne, who never seems thankful for Alfred. He's always happy. Oh, he's always like Master Wayne. You should, was Michael Caine happy in the Dark Knight trilogy? He seemed pissed off when he fucked no, up. No, but I'm going up fucking the latest films with Jabafle. And what do you call him? Him out with Game of Thrones. Yeah, but like all the shit he's always happy. You've got to deal with No, Game of Thrones guy was fucking Titans, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, he was. You are, you're, you are correct. He's but always happy. But he's always on the cusp of danger as well without actually being the one that yeah, signed you know, up for this. Fight. It was Michael Caine that was Ben Affleck's fucking... He was he was Alfred. Christian Bale's Batman. Ben Affleck's Batman was the um, British actor from Aragon. Can't remember his name now. Oh, Michael Caine. Um, Michael Caine was yeah Christian Bale the Dark Knight trilogy. Anyway, no no yeah but he's always on the cusp of danger. He didn't choose this life. Yeah, but he knows how to fight. He knows how to do shit. And he's <laughs> promised right. He's promised these two people have now passed on to look after their son. Their son's gone out to choose to fight fucking chaotic clowns and big bane men. And you're like, I've promised you to look after him. What am I supposed to do with you? Like I said, remember in the Dark Knight trilogy when they come in and try and burn down the house and they're like, Alfred, Alfred. 
picking up Batman in the rain yeah, when he's been stunned by a scarecrow. Can't Alfred, are you going to stop fucking Bruce? Well, that's what I mean. You can't. You <laughs> promised to look after him. You just like you put me in a bit of a shit situation here. Look, look, look at the look at, look at Gotham. He, he tried in the end. He just gave up and just fucking started helping him. That's what I mean. You had to just stop. <laughs> so no, there you go. No, not that. Yeah, he, he had to give up and go for it. It's like, Master Bruce, I'm having to rescue you from fucking robbers here and from lunatics. I'm fucking begging on a bit. I should be retiring. Easy, get a beating. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> that's what I mean. Get a beating. Like, he's like 78. You should be thinking about retiring. He's a good actor, even though he might It's fantastic. Uh, and do you know what? Into dog shows, isn't dog shows, I hope I'll give you the shit. Uh, and to prove the point of the podcast, life is weird because we're talking about a fictional butler looking after a man who pretends he's a bat. Yeah. Uh, we have gone from death yeah. to talking about a fictional to character. Human trafficking, get involved. Get in there early. Use code visual for 20% off your Nexus human trafficking yeah, order. Yeah, if you want anything trafficked, come to us. Yeah. We'll sort it all out. We'll no, 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 no questions asked. Yeah, we will say nothing. We will not open the suitcase. If you have a <laughs> if you have a small pen, pa- Panamese man and you want him sent to Gibraltar, we are your guys. Please just keep it in you and keep, we'll keep it on. 50% up, 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 up,